Hey guys, Calvin here from TechG.webs.com, and as you can see, my computer's all set up now, so yeah, I'll be starting to make more videos now. Uh, as you can also see, I I am on Windows 7 Ultimate, and yeah, I have also recently purchased um, Ad Adobe Photoshop CS4 and Adobe After Effects CS4. So, you know, After Effects, I'm I've, I'm working on an intro intro right now for my videos. So today I'm just gonna sh show a quick um, tutorial on Photoshop, which was actually inspired by Ice Flow Ice Flow Films, I think it was Ice Flow. Let me just try that. I'm not sure what. Um, account it was oh here ice flow studios that's it so this um this tutorial is inspired by ice flow studios so i'm going to teach you how to make an aqua globe similar to this okay so what you want to do is you want to make a new project make it whatever size so you want to start off by using the circle maker thing. That's what I call it. So you want to make sort of an oval shape. Doesn't really matter. Like that. Move that down. Center it. There. And then you want to pick just a nice light soft blue. And you want to take the paint bucket tool and just throw that paint that on. Actually, yeah, I'm gonna go a bit darker. So, for the the first like circle, please just make it a bit darker because, so you can see there's some shadowing here that makes it brighter and then it's dark. So, there you go. And then next, you want to make a a new layer. So you can either click new layer new and then new layer, or you can do just do Shift Control N. So that. I like shift control n and, and uh, enter and then there now we're in a new layer then you want to make a second circle oh wait uh deselect so you want to make it so like kind of around the top just like this so you get like this like you know 3D kind of effect so then you want now you want to pick the softer blue so something like that then you want get the paint bucket throw that in there and then you're not done yet as you can see this has a kind of a blurry effect so what you want to do is you want to go up to filter down to blur Gaussian blur and then just pl play around with the pixels until you get like a nice little shadow kind of like a blur exactly so there, let's try that. Let that uh, finish up. Deselect. So there, you have the same as this effect, you know, like, yeah. And you want to do the same on the bottom. So, you want to just make a circle. Oops. I can always move it down anyway, so. Move it down. And then you want to do the same. So paint bucket tool, fill that in, filter, Gaussian blur, and let it load. And you should get something like that. But you're not done yet. As you can see, there's a little shadow thing on the bottom. That's also Gaussian blur. So this is basically like a tutorial on how how Gaussian blur works and everything. So. Uh, you want to make another layer. Layer. No. Shift Control N. Enter. Then you want to go back to the circle maker thingy. Then make the skinniest oval you could possibly make. So, oh, that there. Center it. So make it about that kind of shape. This one's pretty bad. So I'm gonna make a new one. There we go. Actually, get a little bit wider. So, 
what you want to do is you want to pick a black. I might actually even go with a softer black too. Click OK. And then use the paint bucket tool. Fill that up. And then you want to use Gaussian Blur again. So filter. Gaussian Blur. See how this turns out. Might go a bit darker. OK. Deselect. So there you go. You ca kind of have like a, you know, an egg-shaped aqua globe. You know, if you want, you can like put designs on it. Like go to paint, brush, go down to like green, pick that, and then you know you can kind of do earth designs and say that you made earth or something. There's a really bad drawing of North America. <laughs> I don't even know what that looks like. So. That's basically it, and you know, if you want to make it as a logo, just click on text, let that load. Sorry, but my computer is really slow when I'm screen recording, and then you know, you can put YouTube. I'll just throw that down there, you know. And um, I will also have a tutorial coming up very soon, probably right after this, like 30 minutes after this video on how to do a glossy effect which was actually inspired by um, GTO technology so two accounts that you wanna go visit you wanna go visit Ice Flow Studios channel and also GTO technology GTO technologies channel because you know, he, he does a lot of uh, Photoshop tutorials as well and you know he's just it's a great he has a great channel going on so their links will be in the description. Thanks for watching, guys. If you have any questions, please email me at one at live.ca. And thanks for watching.